Hi, I'm Mr. New Jersey. Today, I want to talk about the proud legacy of glassmaking in my home region of South Jersey. South Jersey glassmaking began in 1739, when German immigrant Caspar Wister established the Wisterberg Glass Works in Alloway, Salem County. This proved to be the first successful glassmaking operation in the 13 colonies. It soon became clear that South Jersey overall was a good place to make glass, due to one key resource, its sand. See, the number one component that goes into making glass is sand, and the sand of South Jersey was of excellent quality for glassmaking. Importantly, this does not refer to sand from the Jersey Shore, which is where your mind probably jumped first. What we're really talking about is sand from inland South Jersey in places like the Pine Barrens, for instance. Thus, a large number of glassmaking operations followed Wister's example and set up shop in South Jersey. One remarkable aspect of the success of South Jersey glass is that it had to compete with imports from Europe. South Jersey glassmaking was heavily dependent on immigrants, with Wister's glass factory and several others relying on German immigrants for labor. Early South Jersey glassmakers tended to concentrate on practical items, like buttons, bottles, and windows. Notably, Worcester even helped provide glass to Benjamin Franklin for use in his scientific experiments. Over time, South Jersey's glass industry expanded to more extravagant items, like glass canes and decorations. One significant South Jersey town that largely owes its existence to the glass industry is the now fittingly named Glassboro. Another German immigrant, Solomon Stranger, first bought land in the area in 1779 to set up what he called a glassworks in the woods. Later on, some other glass companies popped up in Glassboro. The Stranger family's glass company was itself bought by the Whitney brothers in the mid-1800s, and the new owners renamed it the Whitney Brothers Glassworks they turned it into one of the most prosperous glassmaking companies in South Jersey. The Whitney brothers accrued a large fortune and built a mansion in Glassboro, which is today known as Hollybush. The height of New Jersey's glassmaking industry came in the early 1900s, when 90 glass factories could be found across the state, especially in South Jersey. However, it couldn't last forever as technological advances made the glassmaking process more automated and more glass companies opened up in other towns and regions. Many of South Jersey's long-established glassmaking businesses were crippled. Only a handful of glassmaking operations survive in South Jersey today. Despite the modern downturn, there are still several places where you can learn about and celebrate South Jersey's glassmaking heritage. One of those is the Heritage Glass Museum in downtown Glassboro. This small but interesting museum provides information on the process of glassmaking and the industry's history in South Jersey. The museum houses a beautiful collection of colorful South Jersey glass objects and art. Even further south, in Millville, is a large complex called the Wheaton Arts and Cultural Center. The center features its own museum of glass objects and art, a number of shops where you can purchase glass items, and a building where you can watch craft makers working in various art mediums. But the highlight of the cultural center is its live glass blowing demonstrations, in which some lucky audience members get to participate. When you visit the center, make sure you're visiting on a day when glass blowing demonstrations are offered. Lastly, when I went on a tour of Drumthwacket, New Jersey's governor's mansion, I was excited to find a display case in the library room filled with South Jersey glass. That's all I have for today, so thank you for watching. I hope you've learned something you didn't already know about glassmaking in New Jersey, and I hope you'll visit one of the sites I mentioned to keep exploring New Jersey's glass heritage. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this, have a nice day, and I'll see you next time.